CJ's hearing loss affected his language development in that his speech came later, much, much later. He initially signed. He began having communication skills at seven months old. He began having some receptive and expressive skills using sign language. It wasn't until he was about two that we started to get a couple recognizable words. And it wasn't until he got his cochlear implant that he got very, very good speech. His speech now is so clear that the school district has suggested that he no longer needs speech services. However, the hearing loss has impacted his expressive and receptive skills in that he doesn't have quite as high a level of conversation as other children his own age. He's caught up tremendously and really by the time he starts kindergarten should be right up to par with the rest of his kids, but it, it's going to take him a little bit of time to get there. Kate's hearing loss has affected her uh, language development in a couple of different ways. Um, it was mitig the her the adverse effect on her language development was mitigated slightly because of the fact that we had found out at birth that she did have a hearing problem, so we were able to get a Baja hearing aid for Kate by the time she was two months old, um, which has allowed her to start hearing normally when she is able to use it. Um, but her certain craniofacial issues that she has uh, with uh, due to the fact that she has golden heart syndrome has adversely affected Kate. She does have um, some problems uh, structurally where she's having problems saying S's and the SH sound and actually um, her voice is very nasal um, because of some craniofacial issues.